Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa, here in the city of New Zealand. And we are expanding into a brand new area. I'm thinking we're going to start off by setting up as much of the transit as possible, the road connections. Look at that grass appearing and disappearing. It's like growing instantly and then it's gone again. Uh, the road connections, the rail connections. Uh, yeah, there's all sorts of connections that we need to do. And then we can start deciding what we want to add in here. So this uh, barge is heading over here. I'll just show you where we are. This is New Zealand. Oh, yes, you've seen it before. But over here is one of the areas that we were going to expand into. And a few episodes ago, we put this down here. So we've got this bypass train station, which isn't being used as a bypass. It's just being put here because it looks nice. We've got some taxi stands, bit of parking. We've got a ferry bus terminal to help get around in the area. We've got a helicopter here. So we may get some helicopters going. And we've got train access. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on here. I am sort of thinking about... So if we look at this area overall here. So our train lines... I think this is going to be made a one-way loop like that. And then it's just going to connect to this line that goes through here somewhere. Because we've got a station over on this side. Uh, and then we've got stations over this side as well. In fact, let me do that first while I think of it. There we go. I think that's all okay. Then that can connect together up to the line there. We've got this road down here as well with this teeny tiny uh, roundabout on there which i think we're gonna have to just have a little bit of work on this because i think this area here is going to get super busy i mean this you know that is a similar size tranquility point in fact if anything this is slightly bigger and how many people do we have in here uh eight and a half thousand and that's with a massive roundabout in the middle so i reckon we're probably going to get up to ten thousand over here uh, which is fine you know um but yeah this Let's have a look at this. So what have we got coming down the highway? So it's two lanes coming all the way down the highway. So rather than mess with that and go two lanes minus one lane down to one lane, it all start looking a bit wonky. Um, what am I looking for? Highway. We're going to go for the three lane yeah, highway there. And we're going to add that there and there. So you've got a dedicated lane now for coming off. And then when you come on, you've got a dedicated lane for coming on. And then you can merge. And we'll do the same over there and over there. And there's enough room to fit those in. Excellent. Um, let's make sure that this is all set up so it's going to work okay. So they're going to get a lane each when they come out. And the same over there. And then let's have a look. The rest of this... That's fine there. That's fine there. Th yeah, this is going to be upgraded. Is there like a junction the other side there is? Not going to worry too much about that. This is going to be upgraded at least. I mean, if we leave the one lane coming in, then this roundabout at least needs to be two lanes. And I think I'm not going to delete anything by accident if we do that. No, that's okay. Then one lane on, one lane off. Yeah, that will do. And then we'll do control shift, left click. There we go. So we've got dedicated lanes for coming off. Yeah. Giveaway signs. All the good stuff. Uh, there's like two lanes coming off right next to each other there. Huh. I mean, if that gets too busy, I could always move that one back to down here. We'll leave it for now. That'll do. Okay. And then I might just, as we're here, set up the lines on here. Just to make that look a bit nicer. Yeah, so I'm going to add those in like that. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of work here. So I'm just going to move some of these things. If we use the Move It mod, take that and that. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. We are going to use the Node Controller. Is that the one I want? And I want to sort of line these up a little bit better. Um, so, yeah, where these two lanes carry on down, they're going to be the same two lanes for here, carry on down, and then this one from the right merges in. So I want to line these up. I can never remember which way around to do this. I think it is click that one and then hold shift. No, it's the wrong way around. Okay, hold shift and then click that one and it should budge that over. Excellent. So now these two lanes go straight down and this one merges in. That's how it should be. So then we can do the same on here. 
So we want these two lanes to go straight down. So let's grab that node. We're going to hold shift and say line up with that. And that does line up not too bad. And then this one sort of goes out. And then what we can do as well is um, with this one again. Yeah, there we go. So we'll line that up. And we're going to just make that nice and long. So you've got a nice long lane coming off over there. So 22, I think that's okay. We'll do the same for over there. 2022 and how does that look it's a little bit close there aren't they because they're doing that weird overlapping thing i'm just thinking i might need to move use the move it mod just to shift that up one and that down one just a little bit something like that i think that's okay isn't it yeah there we go so we're getting a nice long lane coming off there and then going up on the highway and then that will merge us in there. Excellent. And then we do this little bit here as well. Whoa, what's going on here? I'm just doing this and we've got these guys. What? The, where the heck are you going? Who are you? Taylor Finch, visiting HMP Guilty. What, seriously? I think you're actually going to prison. What are these guys doing? Let's just have a quick look out of there. <laughs> Where are they going? They're just going to like run across the road. Oh my goodness me. Yep, I think that's what they're doing. They're just running all the way over in a nice straight line to HMP Guilty in prison. Uh, I would follow them, but they're going so slow. <laughs> look. <laughs> Forget it. Forget it. Okay, so we've set these two up, and I just need to change the direction of the chevrons on this one. So if we go into here and go to fillers, that's that one there. Um, invert. Excellent. As the traffic's coming down this way, the pointy bit goes towards them. That looks much better. Excellent. So I'm going to copy what I've done there and add that to the other side as well. So here we go, this is before, and this is after. Excellent, that is looking fine, very good. Um, I'm just wondering if we could just add a little bit of sand in here, just down the middle here. There we go, just along here. I think that just adds a little bit of extra realism. There we go, just up to that part. Yeah, all of this through the middle. Yeah, there we go. That's good. Excellent. Right. So now this road coming off here is certainly going to have to be upgraded. And I'm just wondering what to do here. So we could do... Hmm, let's just have a look at the area. Hmm, I mean, at some point, this might connect over here. Actually, no, I think we're going to keep them as two separate areas. Whether we want another road to come off of here, the fact that we've got those two that go up there, I think we might just do that. And make this roundabout's going to get some heavy use. I'm worried that that's going to cause a problem if I do that. Nope, absolutely fine. Good, good, good. So that could head that way. This one could head this way. And then could we have another one coming out of here? Oh, man, we are overstressing this roundabout. Let's add... Uh, not node controller. This one. <laughs> Let's add another node in there. No. The other ones are too close. I can't delete that node because that's where it connects. Okay, we'll have to just go with the flow and maybe come off of there and head out in this direction as well. And I'm thinking, actually, now I've done those roads, they're going to actually be four-lane roads. Uh, we don't have a four-lane road with trees, do we? No, so we're going to go like this up to the last segment and the same for this one and then this bit at the end is I uh, might as well take the trees out and then we'll go like that there we go so at least got two lanes going into the roundabout cool okay let's just set this up correctly again there we go get rid of any lines that shouldn't be on there nope we're fine so let's see where our connection is going to come through here again we're probably I'm going to stick with the the tree lined road um, and I want this to be in the middle which i'm assuming is going to be about there we're going to have this one let's make that a bit longer coming into there so you can go either way and then i'm also going to upgrade this one and that one so now you've got dedicated lanes coming in going out or you can just carry on and go straight on excellent um, and then we go back to our normal tree line road this one here and that one is going to connect up to here 
Yeah, something like that. And I'm thinking, actually, now that I've done that, this is going to have to be a four-lane road just because it's such a busy main road through here. So we're going to go right up to the end. And then we're going to actually change it for that one without the trees. There we go. Uh, this one at the end here. Like that. No, actually, you could just be exactly the same piece of road, can't it? Yeah, there we go. That's fine. Excellent, excellent. And actually, that one could as well. There we go. Sorted, sorted, sorted. This is going to put traffic lights in. So let us remove those. Um, do I want giveaway signs just like that? Would that be okay? I think it probably will. We'll just see how that goes. It's going to be a lot of traffic. It may be, now that I'm looking at it, that we make this all one way. I'm going to make this all one way. Yep, yeah, let's do that. There we go. So now the roads and the trains all go in one direction around there. Excellent. That's good. Right. So let's see where can we hook up our train lines across here next. So I'm trying to sort of see if we can integrate this train line somehow in here. If I went up to there, don't worry, I'm going to delete all this bit down here like that. Oh, wrong one. Sorry, everybody. Zip all the way down to there. Excellent. And then connect these two up to there. And then that could come straight up this way. I'm just deliberately drawing it over the top of the road just to get a rough idea of what's going on. And then when it gets up to here, it could split to go in both directions. I think that would be okay. So if we bring that up to, say, here, let's just see if we can get over the top. As usual, I don't want to be using tunnels. I want to see what's going on. So if we do that... Actually, if we do that over there, and then it can split from there, can't it? And this one can join here. And then this one can join. It's going to have to go, I think, over the top. Rather than merge on top of the bridge, that would make more sense to me. I don't know what's going on with this i'm trying to place it and get it even with the other one and it's like jumping around all over the place so i'm going to do that and then we'll just use the move it mods to get this the same height as the other one yep there we go that's fine uh we'll get this the same height as oh let's try that again that one the same height as that that's the same height there that's fine and then ideally i want this to be same height as that, but then we can have it sloping. Yeah, do you know what? Actually, this is going to end up being the same height as this anyway, isn't it? So let's do that. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. So let's do all of these along here. There we go. All the same height as that one there. And then we can just connect these up. go and then we'll just do a bit of this on here so we'll set those ends as straight just expand that 20 maybe a little bit less i'm just trying to get rid of that little weirdness in there there we go so 22 yeah that works okay let's come down the end here see what we can do on this one this one's actually going into a bridge so works on there as well very good and then the connection here yep oh uh let's straighten those out oh we're gonna get something funny happening here aren't we oh man yeah i'm gonna delete these before i break the game like i did last time and we'll try that again Yeah, I think that's looking okay. That's good. And I would imagine that this part here would actually be on the ground. I don't think they would have that up in the air. With it being a more complicated junction. Oh, do I need to just shift this again? Come on, turn that off. Let me shift that over just a bit. There we go. 
I think that's okay. Let me just make that ever so slightly bigger. There we go. It's all working now. Excellent. Then we can smooth off this land. Let's just bring this out here. Just to feather this down a little bit. Okay, excellent. That looks good to me. I might even bring this one up here as well. Let's grab that. I feel like the bridge should finish there and then it goes down. That makes more sense to me. There we go. Smooth this bit out there. All good. Oh, no, hang on a sec. No, this needs to be a bridge, doesn't it? We need to connect this up down here. Ah, yes. Uh, let's just try that again then. So we take this part here. Um, I say bridge. I mean a raised piece. And then we're going to just upgrade all of these to a raised piece. This is going to come through whatever building we've got through here. And then we'll just raise the height on those. Let's select nodes. All of those nodes. Apart from that one. Control H. The same height as that. Yeah. That's perfectly good. And then these two here now need to connect on to this one. I've just realized as well. These could be one way that was coming in. No, that's fine how it is. There's going to be a sort of crossover point at some place, isn't there? But yeah, it'll be fine. So I'm just wondering whether we could just use one of our mods to get these connected up evenly. So let's take a look at Network Multi-Tool. Let's just zoom in a bit here. We're going to use this one, the Create Connection Mode. So if I select that segment and this segment, and it will freak out and do the wrong thing. Then we select this end piece, and there we go. It's nicely curved that in. So that's 50 and 50. Do you know what? I think I would just leave that like it is. But then I want to do the same over here from here to here. Excellent. Change the end piece. And that is 50 to 50 as well. So we've got all this bang in the center. We'll worry about the tracks going in the wrong way in a minute. Oh, man. Oh, am I going to just completely destroy this and have it disappear into the ground like we had last time? If I stretch this out, it's really not liking it. No, doesn't like that at all. Um... Darn it. I'm just wondering, actually, while I'm thinking it, let us quickly change these to go in the right direction. And that might. So these have got to come in. That might fix it. And then these have got to go out. So that's going out. That's going out. That's going out. Or if I delete this one. Because they both connect there okay, don't they? So then if I go from there to there. No. All right. Might just need a little bit of maneuvering with the move it mod. So if we grab this piece here. And do that and do that that's all connected yeah and then we could maybe just straighten those up and hopefully they'll end up still being equal oh darn it i thought i had that on mm, i think that's okay that's like that that's like that how does that look i mean that looks pretty even to me doesn't it we just got the height to worry about but that's okay we can fix that There we go. Very good. Let's just remove some of these trees. They're a little bit too close. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That comes in. That sweeps around. That goes back out again. Let me just adjust this height over here. Uh, that one can be the same height as that, which is the same height as everything else going out. And that one can be the same height as that. Excellent. Then we've got this main row that then cuts through over there. It could also have a connection coming up over to this one. I might accidentally raise that. Let's pop that back down again. There we go. All right. I think we're getting somewhere. So I like this because it's nice and organized here. But then our road network is going to be a bit wiggledy-piggledy. Yes, definitely. Okay. Right. Let's take this one here and see if we can get this to come out of here. So let's put that back to normal. So if we go like that... And then that could meet up with this road, couldn't it? Yep, like that, which will be good. And then we could also have another one off of here connect up with that. Right, let's continue down here. I'm not sold on this road layout up there. I'm probably going to change that at some point. But I think I'm just going to concentrate on this area here for now. So when you come into what is currently known as Birdsong Transit Hub... 
Uh, we want some things to visit and we want i want this to look really nice down the middle it's going to have some buildings but i'm thinking some sort of part but up here uh, i would like to add a couple of items so we've got here the locomotive halls which would fit in here absolutely perfectly what about sideways uh no let's do it this way there we go so you can come and visit some old trains and things down here i think that just fits in there nicely that is a nice asset attract some people over to this area and then something for the kidly wink is over here i was thinking we've got a few things we've got the traffic park uh, which could go right up against the edge there there we go look at that they can practice driving their cars learning all about hugo there before they're allowed out driving in the city at large excellent and then I'd also like to just move this helicopter stop. I'm thinking what we're going to do with that. Uh, let's have a look around here. I was thinking maybe somewhere in the middle here. But for now, let's just grab... What have we got here? 2U roads. I'm going to sort of stick with the 2U road theme in the middle here. Uh, let's bring that all the way down to there. And this one down to here. We'll connect those up. I think our helicopter stop is going to go this end. So it's going to be nice and noisy down here. I think that is in the middle. Excellent. And then this place here, we're going to put the Disaster Memorial. And I'm pretty sure we can line that up. Let's do it this way. Smack bang in the center. I think one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So it's got to go like that. But the road doesn't seem... I want to line it up with the road, <laughs> which is coming in there. So as we come down this road here that greets us excellent and then we're going to build up a lovely park around the back now, i'd like to make use of these flowery passages again that we've got here by vilgard because they're fantastic and you can mix and match these together to make something look really nice and i'd like that to run down the middle uh, to be able to do that we're going to need a park area so let me just paint that in there we go excellent and then alongside here i think we're going to have our park entrances so let's come down to here what's the small parkside gate so this is the small main gate so we have that one there and that one there excellent so they can come in and out that end and then i'm also thinking the same down here whoop thank you very much same down here and then we might as well pop one halfway down as well which will be there as good as any that one's going to be there. Excellent. So then if we've got some park paths in here, we can then build against those. Let's just... Oh, that isn't straight down there. Okay, let's just do that. And let's just do that. Okay, and then we can put these items uh, should then just go in the middle quite happily. Um, and there's all sorts of nice ones here. Some corner ones. So let me just... I'm probably going to do what I've done before, place all these out, and then we can pick and mix which ones we want.
So I'm barely finished adding details to this. And there's so many people coming in to visit already. I didn't realise I'd had anything set up here to allow people to come in. But I think this is set up to allow intercity trains. So let's just take a look at that. Yeah, so people are coming in via the intercity trains to check this out. And um, yeah, I've sort of mixed and matched a few little buildings here. So we've got the restrooms, the info booths and the restaurants from the three different park types. Um, I've also decided... Oh, let's also say by the look of it. Quick sip of tea. Ah. And I've also decided to put the organic and local produce uh, low-density commercial buildings along here. We're getting quite a few different sorts, which I think is good. You know, people have come here to, get, to queue up and shop and enjoy the park that we've got as well, which is great. Uh, we've got this for people to visit up here if they wish to. So this place has suddenly become a destination as well. And then for the kiddie centre, we've got the traffic park over here. We've got the skating thing, skating park. And then we've got this here from the amusement park. So the souvenir store and a building from the zoo as well. And I just think they look great. I am loving the way that this place has turned out. I, I was having one of those days, you know, where I was thinking, I don't know what to build. I don't know what it's going to turn out like. And I just started placing things. And it's come out like this. And I'm really, really pleased. Of course, we've got to get our trains hooked up. We've got to get our ferries hooked up. Uh, the helicopter thing I took out. We've got so many trees and parks and people walking around in close proximity. It just didn't seem like it was a uh, safe thing to have in here. Uh, we could put some things on the side. I think we need to move these up a little bit because people are supposed to be able to walk down there. Although I'm just assuming they're only going to walk on the top one if they could get onto them. Um, but yeah, any ideas of things we could pop over here, let me know. But I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. So thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you are new. Check out the other video on the screen as well. That is always very helpful. And I will see you all very soon for the next one. Have a fantastic day. Take care. Bye-bye.